welcome to Bougie Popcorn. It's fall, y'all. So I don't know about you guys or where you're from, but here in the Northeast, it is our favorite time of year. When this, the weather starts cooling down, we're tired of summer. I mean, really, who could be tired of summer? But it has been a hot summer this year. So we're looking forward to the cooler temperatures, especially the cool nights. The mosquitoes start to go away and it's just that nice crisp air. It's almost like a renewal when we come to these different weathers. And I think that's why in New England, we love to live here because we love the change of season. And so that is when fall marks a change of season. So one of the things that's very popular is pumpkin spice. Now, I'm not gonna lie, personally, I'm not all about pumpkin spice everything, but I know a lot of friends who really are. Um, I think mostly, I don't like to have pumpkin and things like my cheesecake, and I don't like to have any in my coffee besides a little bit of sugar and a little bit of cream. But I do appreciate um, the flavors that go in pumpkin spice, and I do appreciate the love for pumpkin spice everything. So I figured I need to have a segment that has pumpkin spice popcorn, and that's what we're gonna make today. Um, we're going to do this using a basic kettle corn recipe, and we're gonna start out with kettle corn, and then we're going to take a sugary pumpkin spice mixture and spread that on the kettle corn. As soon as it comes off of the heat, and st is still sticky so that all of those spices will adhere and then it will crystallize into a candy coating but still remain crystallized so you get a little bit of extra sugar crunch. The number one ingredient in pumpkin spice is cinnamon. So a majority of the spice that we're going to mix up is cinnamon. Um, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. So I'm gonna eyeball it here. Um, we use a little more, a little less, depending on what you like. I do really like cinnamon. I love the warmth of the spice and the heat that it brings because cinnamon is quite spicy. Um, the next ingredient is ginger. And this calls for um, two teaspoons of ginger. So I'm going to go in and about two teaspoons of ginger. Ginger is also a very warming spice, and I understand why this is so popular in the fall. Um, and then we have one half teaspoon of nutmeg, um, but I really like nutmeg, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put a little bit more than a half teaspoon of nutmeg. And then it calls for cloves, and it says just a pinch of cloves. Since this is going to be my recipe, I'm not a big fan of cloves. I do have it in my spice cabinet, but as you can see, I don't really use much of it. I think maybe I put a pinch of it in apple pie, um, but I can go without it. So I'm gonna leave it out. And what I am going to substitute it with, um, which is more of an ethnic Asian spice, but it's becoming quite popular um, here in America, is cardamom. Um, if you don't know what cardamom is, it is a pod that has little black seeds inside. It's very, very popular in Indian cuisine, and almost every dessert in Indian cuisine has cardamom in it. Now, when I, drew, I tell you that I don't like to drink a pumpkin spice latte, but I do love chai latte. And chai latte has a lot of similar flavors to a pumpkin spice latte, only it's in tea, and I think maybe that's why I enjoy it a little bit more. And since I do enjoy chai spice so much, it does have cardamom, I'm gonna throw it in my version of pumpkin spice. So I'm just going to use maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. Now, I don't wanna store this just as a spice blend. I really want it to be um, a sugary addition. So I am going to add to this a half a cup of sugar. I don't know if that's right. I'm just gonna add it. We'll mix it up and we'll see. Um, that way when I store it, anything pumpkin spice that I add this to, um, as I add it to the popcorn, 
Um, I can add it to my coffee, I can add it to my tea, and it will be already mixed with the sugar. And then also, you won't get those big clumps of spices. Um, it offers a medium to be able to evenly distribute all the different spices. Um, and this looks, this looks really spice intense. It's very, very brown, very dark. There's a lot of spices in here. It smells wonderful. Um, but I'm gonna add another half cup of sugar, making it a full cup of sugar that we're adding here. Um, just so that it is a regulated quantity of spices um, floating around in that sugar medium. You should taste everything. So maybe I don't wanna just taste pumpkin spice straight up. So I have a cup of coffee here with a little bit of milk and I'm going to throw in about as much sugar as I would use. That's how much sugar I normally put in my coffee. So I'm gonna mix that in and see how it tastes. And that is, that's pretty good. Um, I think maybe the reason I don't like pumpkin spice latte is because when you buy it um, at a restaurant or you get it um, at one of the coffee chains, it's a very sweet drink. Um, having just the spices in the sugar and being able to regulate the amount that goes in um, makes me really love it. So pumpkin spice might be my jam. So now we're gonna put this all aside. I'm gonna leave most of um, most of the spice sugar mixture off to the side because when we're going to sprinkle it on our kettle cord, um, I wanna be able to easily access it and I'll just dump the rest of it in that jar. So making our kettle corn, um, I generally like to use regular store-bought popcorn, um, or a Redenbacher, Jiffy Pop. That popcorn kernel is the most forgiving and the easiest to make kettle corn with. Um, I actually think it comes out the best, but um, mushroom popcorn comes out pretty good too. So we're going to use a half a cup of popcorn, unpopped like we usually do, but I have changed the amount of sugar that I put into the pan. Um, originally, I put in um, only a third of a cup of sugar, but since we want a very sticky, wet popcorn to come out so that we can put our uh, pumpkin spice application, I've bumped that up to a half a cup of sugar. And we're going to use a half a cup of oil as well. So we will take a half a cup of oil, um, and in lieu of the coconut oil, we'll use a half a cup of walnut oil. And it is a lot of oil, and you can tell this is a small oil container. We've used half of it now, um, and it is. So, let's get to cooking.
here is our final product. Um, if you noticed, I called an audible and made a game time decision. Um, my spice mixture was a little heavier on the spices than I wanted it to be. So I added a little bit of sugar. Instead of mixing the sugar into the spices, I just sprinkled some more sugar over the top and it came out perfect. The mushroom popcorn, I'll pick a good one here. As I always say, it's beautiful, it's round, it's a very voluptuous popped popcorn, and I love how it looks. Um, the pumpkin spice is excellent. It's very similar to the cinnamon sugar popcorn that I make also, but these extra spices, the ginger, the nutmeg, um, and even the cardamom comes out very forward. And I love that we made it with the walnut oil because I have no taste of coconut, it's a very, very neutral oil, and it lets the pumpkin spice spices shine on their own. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Happy fall, y'all.